we are back to the league after a rough night. Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the latest vlog. I think this is going to be number 49, so almost to that half century number. And uh, we're back in the league on Wednesday nights here at Ryan Bowl. Uh, last week sucked. Uh, shot like 5.30. Uh, had a challenge tonight mentally and physically. Something was, wasn't working overall. Everyone had a rough night, so I basically turned the cameras off after a game and a half just, and to basically just let it go and got down to film the how to vlog video, which should be up at this time. Go check it out on my uh, Jason Talks playlist. For tonight, I'm just trying to get back in, getting uh, head clear, getting my game. It's just solid, letting it just be a regular old night. Uh, but basically the usual arsenal. I uh, swapped the IQ back out for the Nova. Also got the Phase 2 sent it down to 2000, which I remember has done me really well in league environments before. So if I need the traction, that should work a lot better than it has before. And we'll go ahead and just get out there and bowl. And hope you have a good night. Reporting live here from lanes one and two, where lane two is broken. Back to you, Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's looking good. Left lane's good. There we go. We're live on scene on lane one where a robbery just occurred. Back to you, Bob. That won't be the only solid I put up tonight. I'm telling you that right now. There's going to be another one. You just ruined it, yeah. It's going to creep up on me in like game three. <laughs> Can I get a shot of whiskey? And I, I take Brandon. Got real slow, rolled off the fingers so it had more revs than usual. Nose, right through the nose. We're here from Sports, once again, Zen Ball good. Back to you, Bob. Oh, 
Oh my god, no! Ah, no! Fell off my hand. Damn it, grip on it. Oh, fine, I can get off my hand. There we go. Oh, that's a lot better. Come on. That's called I adjusted my thumb for one ball and not for the other one. Oh. Sit your booty down. <laughs> Finally. Ow! 
sucks. I was sat here all night. Ah! Hope! That's what we call who? There we go. Uh, what? What? Uh, hard way? F word, F word, F word, S H word, lots of bad words. I'm gonna, if, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna fall over, fall over on this side of the pile and it would cool. I don't wanna go to the yard. Yeah. Saw that coming. Saw that coming from a mile away. I almost called it out. Well, the lesson for me is I need to not suck. If I pick it up, you do. I, don't I know, know where Mark is. lives. If he goes missing, it's not my fault. Go ahead, post my head. Noted. Also, oh, folks, here's uh, Griff. Uh, come look further. Oh, I'm coming. Yeah. Sub of the year. Yeah, yeah. we want to have him sub eventually. We'll uh, look for him on the camera. He's been in the back giving us weird comments, so if you hear some, uh, some random voice to recognize, it's going to be him, but we'll get him in here sometime this year. Hi. I this love this team. I love everybody here. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So that was an interesting evening. Game two is very obviously a thumb battle or a thumb war, if you will. Um, so I could tell at the start something was wrong, but at the core of things, I have to remember I am a noob at the modern game. I may have form that's pretty solid from you know decades ago, but I don't really have knowledge or experience yet to be able to recognize when things are wrong or I can recognize them they're wrong, but I don't have the knowledge to immediately know the solution. And so I was spending that entire game just trying things and trying to identify what I was specifically feeling and trying out different things to help solve the thumb issue. I did finally get there in the end though, which is cool. Um, I was able to basically just go up and down, swap different thumbs out, keep trying things. And a thing that I'm really proud of is that I sort of kept my cool through the whole game. I was able to maintain it as a problem solving experience rather than something to get over frustrated at, which was really, really cool. And that's a thing I can definitely take away from it on top of having a more, bit more experience about how to manage my thumb. After the thumb issues were solved, I found myself with a really good release too, because I'd had to force the ball off of my hand a couple of shots when the tape was too tight. It got me pushing down with my thumb. And this accidentally sort of gave me the feel of what I think what you're supposed to do, a forceful uncocking of the wrist to create a yo-yo motion. And I was sort of pushing the thumb down into the lane, which got the ball coming off my hand really quickly. And so for game three, I felt like I had some really strong revs, or at least, you know, strong for me. I'm gonna try and keep that feel going forward with practice, hello Evie, with practice and with additional, you know, in tournaments and leagues. And it might be something clicking for me. We'll, we'll obviously find out going forward. In the end, it turned out to be a non-terrible series. Uh, even with that rough game in game two, I raised my average slightly, which is better than losing a number of pins. So it was a night that I'm happy with in a lot of ways. A little frustrated. I could have made a better ball choice at the start of game one, but you know, again, had no Kalik with a Nova. Should have tried the Zen anyway, but you know, I was having hand problems. So it's hard to make good decisions when you're not comfortable in your, in your release. Going forward, uh, this weekend I'm going to be at Metro Bowl and Crystal Lake again. They're going to be bowling on the 41 foot beaten path pattern. Uh, this is a challenge pattern, 41 feet. Uh, should actually have a pretty good shot at having some good scores on that. I bowled well on this pattern and others like it before. So if you want to see that video and others like it, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. The next video is going to be video number 50. We're halfway to the century mark. A lot of you have been here from the start. A lot of you have been here much more recently. I definitely appreciate all of you being here. It's been a good ride so far, and I appreciate all that you have been doing with commenting, liking, and let me know what you think. So thank you all very much for that. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck and good bowling.